A little earlier, I asked Sheh Hao Fu, a technology analyst at ID Tech X, just how long it will be before driverless cars become the norm. The technology is ready, but um, scaling it up is really about um, economics and regulations. So for uh, robot taxi, which are essentially commercial vehicle, the key challenge is to make the total cost ownership, or called TCO, which is low enough for the operators uh, to run it to make profit. So the question is less about can it work, and more about can it make sense, you know, financially and legally at scale. So right now, the companies they are optimizing the cost. For example, the hardware cost of sensors and the computing units they have already dropped dramatically over the past few years. And once the total cost ownership becomes competitive with the human drivers, and once the city finalizes the regulation framework for a fully driverless operation, I think we'll see a large-scale adoption, probably two to three years, in some of the major urban areas. China, of course, in terms of regulation, has a top-down approach, which I would imagine makes it a lot more streamlined. How much of a roadblock will issues such as regulation be globally? Do you think? That's a great question. So, objectively speaking, in the long run, there are mainly three roadblocks for autonomous driving, which is um, technology, cost, and regulations. So, for the tech side, for leading Chinese players, the phase of Proving the core technology has already passed. The current challenge lies in managing what we call edge cases, such as um, extreme weather, complex traffic, or the uh, unpredictable behaviors of other road users uh, in different kinds of scenarios. So, in other words, it's uh, it's about um, achieving the full reliability and ensuring that every user journey remains seamless without any breakpoints between machine and the human users. So, in in the terms of cost, the good the good news is that the price of the sensors and computer units has been falling rapidly. However, the, for commercial applications like robot taxis, cost the cost efficiency is still a key factor that operators need to manage uh, caref carefully. This week, we've seen two Chinese companies launching on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange, Pony AI and WeRide. Now, I was reading about these companies. Neither of them has yet turned a profit, but they are doing astonishingly well because they are pushing ahead in the self-drive race. Do you see them as the leaders? Yeah, it's really interesting because both company they started around a very similar time, and even in the in the same city in Guangzhou. So, which have grown into two of China's most advanced aut autonomous driving players. For Pony AI, what really stand out is its strong financial performance and commercial progress this year. Uh, this robot taxi business has seen a rapid growth, with passenger fare revenue increase significantly, and that means this revenue, the revenue model, is shifting from project-based income to a real. Uh, operational revenue, which is a significant of you know, a sign of health uh, commercialization, but for for we right, they has taken the more global and multi you know scenario approaches. It now holds uh, autonomous driving permits in more than seven countries and operates, you know, they operate in one of the largest fleets in the world, which build in uh, rich experience in local operations and create and diversify mobility ecosystem. So in many ways, I would say their comp comp competition has just begun.